right now, 743. And this morning, we are joined by the chef and owner of Pico, a dinner restaurant at the Los Alamos General Store. And they'll share tips with us on how to make beautiful seafood dishes with some local ingredients. Let's send it out to Mabrisa, who's on the patio with our guests. Mabrisa, take it away. Good morning, Danny. As you mentioned, I'm joined right now by Will Henry, the owner of Pico, and it's the new restaurant located at the Los Alamos General Store. When did you acquire that new location? Uh, we bought the building about a year and a half ago. It's an 1880 building in the little town of Los Alamos in the Santa Barbara wine country. And that's a very historic building. I mean, it really sticks out like a store thumb, right? Well, I don't know about a store thumb. It's a historic town, but <laughs> yeah, we definitely like being there. So what kind of food do you like to serve at your restaurant? Uh, I guess we would call it upscale comfort food. Perfect. American. Very good. And I'm joined right now by the chef, Drew Turp. And New Year's right around the corner, and you have a special meal that you're preparing us that you're going to feature at the restaurant, correct? That's correct. Yeah, uh, it's four courses. Uh, starts with an amuse, uh, then a bunch of different uh, pairings with wines. Uh, it's $100 for uh, uh, the entire menu. And what's the name of the dish? The dish that we're doing today is a scallop confit. It's with uh, satsuma tangerines, uh, local persimmons, edible flowers, and fennel. All right, take it away. So the dish itself um, starts off with uh, the scallop confit. So I salt the scallops okay. and uh, cook them for about three hours at a really low heat. So this is fully cooked and seasoned. Then I add persimmon. Then I add a little bit of the tangerine. And I just layer this so that every time you get a bite, you get something different texturally, and they play well with each other, flavors and textures. I love the colors, very bright, seasonal for this time of year. Very, all of its local uh, produce, all that comes locally, we get the, uh, the scallops in locally um, whenever we get the opportunity to. And then I top it with a little bit of caviar lime. And so this is it's what's called finger lime. So when you squeeze it, little bits of uh, caviar lime like comes out so it's, instead of having your typical lime it's a uh, little tiny caviar beads and that goes right on top of the persimmons then I put just a little bit of tarragon oil that the uh, scallops are confit in just on top for a little bit of flavor and then I top it with some fennel fronds and some of the edible flowers. And what kind of flowers are you using? Um, they come in all different uh, varieties. So sometimes we get these, which are a, a variety of nasturtium, um, but we also get uh, some lilac flowers and some rosemary flowers, whatever the local farmers have. So it's all about locally grown farmers, even your fishermen helping you out as well. How important is that for your meal? Oh, it's very important. Um, a lot of our food is driven specifically by the farmers themselves. So they'll walk in with a crate of food and say, hey, I grew this, what can you do with it? Oh, and so perfect. we'll create a dish off of that. So you tailor make your dishes right from locally grown, look, lo looking for the local community to help you out as well, right? Oh, 100%. Some of the stuff that we get is grown in Los Alamos by the locals who just stop in and say, hey, I have too many quints or hey, I have too many tomatoes. What can you do with these? Well, that's great. So farmers now know, stop by at Pico at Los Alamos, the general store there, and make sure to head there, especially for New Year's Eve, because you do have a great four course meal planned. This is just one of those dishes. So thank you so much for stopping by our station today. Danny, I'm going to send it back to you. All right. Thank you so much for bracing. That presentation looks so lovely. Thank you so much.